All right, everyone, let's buckle up. There is a big news coming out of China that's got the tech world buzzing. And for once, it's not just rumors or vaporware. Lijuan Tech has officially launched its first ever 6NM gaming and especially AI focused GPUs. And the one that's really turning heads is <clears throat> their Lijuan 7G 105 24GB of VRAM. Yesterday we covered the 12 GP one. The cost was just around 150 to 200 US dollar. And this one with 24 GP of VRAM is not expensive either. And I'm being told it will be around 400 or even less US dollar when it comes out. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. If this is the first time you are visiting the channel, please subscribe and like the video as that helps a lot. Now, the thing is that you might not have heard of Lijuan before. They are a new player in the GPU game, but what they are claiming is Bolt, a card that can go toe to toe with Nvidia's RTX 4060 in gaming and AI, but double the VRAM and serious AI muscle. And if even half of this is true, it could be a major crack in Nvidia's iron grip on the AI and mid-tier GPU market. Now here, allow me to also dwell on something. Normally what happens is that when I cover these GPUs and all of these news coming from China, I also understand that some of them are not released, some of them have some sketchy uh, details and then of course there is a CUDA problem. Now, so, but this has to start somewhere right i mean you can't have a gpu card with full cuda alternate or full cuda support from china for 50 us dollar tomorrow that is not going to happen this is an evolutionary gradual process so um i also read the comments and i get that uh people really want that in their hands very very cheaply yesterday but that's not going to happen we all want cheap we uh, gpus we all want a lot of vram but this has to start somewhere and that is a primary reason you know i cover these technologies now let's start with this 7g105 this isn't your average ai card it's built for ai developers and anyone who needs serious vram without selling a kidney the 24 GB of GDDR6 memory with ECC support is a huge, huge deal. Right now, if you want that much VRAM in a desktop card, you're looking at NVIDIA's RTX 4090 or a workstation GPU like the RTX 6000 or some of the other offerings from NVIDIA, which cost thousands. But here is Lejeune, a company no one really saw coming, slapping 24 GB on a card that's not only aimed at professionals but also also it is par with 300 us dollar price tag allegedly that's like bringing a tank to a go-kart race the card is aimed at professional and ai inference market which means it's built for running llms locally video rendering and virtualization plus maybe data heavy workloads it can supposedly drive up to 16 1080p screens in a virtual environment which screams data center or AI lab use and get this it supports modern security features like data encryption and confidential computing that's something you don't really see on consumer cards and it shows that Lijuan isn't just copying Nvidia they are building something tailored for real world enterprise needs which is always a good <clears throat> idea in my humble opinion now, I'm not just going to give you all this detail. Let me also show you some of the specs. So this is a detail which is available at the moment from Lijuan. If you look at this, it is not just yet another gaming card. It's a AI workhorse. So 24 GB VRAM with ECC is a game changer for AI inference, where memory stability matters more than raw FPS. The 192 bit bus is a narrow, Narrower bus than NVIDIA's high-end card, but paired with 24 T-flops and 225 WTDP, it suggests this card is built for sustained workloads and just bus performance is not the idea here. The single 12V 2 into 6 power connector is also a win. It's a safer and more modern than the fire-prone 12VH PWR on NVIDIA's card. 
so i think that reliability is a major focus here which i really really like now if you do a bit of a comparison with 4060 this also tells you a bit more information you can see that 7G106 seems like a legit competitor to 4060 to me. Same synthetic core, more VRAM, wider memory bus, but the 225TWP is a red flag. It's twice the power draw, which means more worse efficiency. That's a sign the architecture might not be uh, as mature yet as NVIDIA's Ada Lovelace. Still, the extra VRAM could make it better for 1440p gaming and then AI inference, especially for the quantized models but we are yet to see there look at the 4091 with this card now this is where lejuan shines in my humble opinion the 4090 is faster but the 7g105 brings ecc and confidential computing these are the features you don't get on consumer cards for small businesses ai startups or anyone running local models that's a huge advantage and if it's priced at half the 4090 it, and I think it might be even less. That's a no-brainer for many. The inference performance might not match the 4090 in full, but for most local LLM use cases, it's more than enough. Now, this is where you are watching. Lejuan is building a full ecosystem. They're not just making one card. They are planning a whole stack from gaming to enterprise. The 7G105 Pro variant could be aimed at data center, while the 7G106 OC might be a higher clocked AI model. If they follow up with the 7G200 on a smaller node, they could scale really, really fast. And this is where we sum it up. Lejuan isn't just copying NVIDIA. They are solving real problems. High VRAM, ECC, security, and a domestic 6NM process means they are not bottlenecked by TSMC's shortages. And that is a key part here. And if they can deliver stable drivers, a big if. They could force the entire market to lower prices. Well, there will always be a skepticism. Um, the thing is, we just have to wait. Of course, CUDA is there, driver optimization is there, community support, ecosystem support is there, but this all falls into place once you have a sellable product and people are desperate. I am working daily in the industry and I can tell you that people are just looking for one reason or another to just get cracking on this one. So I think that we are really in for a surprise where this could be a big, big thing. If Legion delivers even 80% of what they are promising, I think this could be a real game changer. Let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are our good friends at Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructure for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. Please like the video and share it among your network and please subscribe as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.